All right, guys, uh, taking a look at the Cargo Power Box 2500. This is a solar generator powered by a 2500 watt gener uh, inverter that's going to be allow you to run all kinds of job site type tools. I've got this uh, circular saw. Uh, obviously, I've got this uh, multi max tool here. So these this will allow you to do those kind of things. Uh, it has inside of it uh, a lithium battery. I'll show you that in a second. Before we do, I wanted to climb up here on the roof of the truck because this is where we're charging up our battery from. I've got our, uh, I've got our 100 watt energy. This is a foldable, not foldable, but a, a bendable style. So you can see it's super, super thin, um, super thin power here. I've got it mounted on top of my Rhino Rack, a Pioneer platform uh, with a couple of the accessories uh, that are basically friction holding that down. And in full sun like this, you're going to generate easily 100 watts of power, push upwards of 3 to 5 amps uh, to recharge that lithium battery that we have down below the camper shell. So this is a great thing for off the grid kind of living, camping, uh, you name it, um, work site, job site. Uh, maybe you want to take a blow up to the park, uh, balloon machine, cotton candy, you name it, anywhere. But this is this is the unit. I've got it mounted in my bed. Um, I'm using this uh, junction box as kind of the storage for the battery and a lot of the cables. And I've got this uh, inverter mount on the outside just to make sure it gets as much ventilation. This is the part that's going to get hot when it gets hot. So you want to make sure this stays well ventilated. Um, out here on the outside, I've got that battery monitor. This is an eco-worthy style. Uh, you do not have to use a shunt on this one. If you know battery monitors, you know you have to do a little installing. This one, you, you literally run cables through the middle of it and it gives you a reading, almost like a clamp meter. Uh, but as you can see here, I've got, it's almost 100% charged, 99.4 amperes left in it. Um, and it could run at 108 hours at the current use. Now, when I turn on something like my oscillating tool, you can see how that affects those numbers. So now I'm drawing almost eight amps, 103 watts, and it'll run for 12 hours. So I literally could do 12 hours of work with this oscillating tool. Or if I turn on this uh, skill saw, That one obviously took a lot more power. We were running almost a thousand watts to do that, uh, and it dropped down to almost two hours. So you could see that the monitor gives you a really good indicator of what you have left in the power. And then when you look on the inside here, this is part that's kind of fun. If you look on the inside, you can see that uh, 100 watt uh, lithium battery in there. That's a lie time, and I love the mini size. It uh, is about 80% smaller than the big ones, and it still gives you that same 100 amp power. Married that with the uh, Voyager charge controller. So this is a PWM style, uh, perfect for maintaining and floating floating this battery when I'm not using it. Um, you can see I'm getting 3.2. I'm getting 3.2 uh, amps out of that panel up there. Uh, batteries reading 13.1 volts and just to confirm that's what uh, well we must be floating between that because that's 13.2 here and then out here 13.1 so somewhere in between there we're getting uh, getting close to that but you can see that uh, battery monitor it's actually showing you charge going to the battery that's the indicator of the flashing L LCD look in there uh, where that's going up showing you getting juice to it and there's your there's your uh, battery monitor right there. Uh, that's part of the eco-worthy um, battery monitor. Here you're running your positive cable through that, and that's giving you the feedback here. And I found it to be pretty accurate. I use other style monitors. I gave this one a shot because I like the idea of the shuntless one. Uh, so I was putting that out here. So anyway, uh, this gives you kind of the rundown of that uh, the cargo power box 2500. Um, your truck mounted solar generator so I've got it in here super nice solid uh, mounted in there next to that I'm of course using a keeper bar to keep my other tools away and I obviously am always loaded I've got to using this DeWalt uh, 
tough system, stackable tough system. That's what goes in this spot right beside here. But that just gives me, second I drop my tailgate, I've got a place to plug these guys in and uh, up to three different devices can be plugged in there and run at the same time. So anyway, uh, a really nice thing plus a USB. Last night when I was finishing the install in this, my phone was dying. So I was using this to run a light to power up and light the bed and using this to charge it. So the very product I was installing was helping me install the product I was installing. So kind of crazy, right? <laughs> kind of a cool thing. So anyway, that's the uh, Cargo Power Box 2500 with the solar panel mount on top. Again, we'll show you that. And I'll be posting the full build in a step-by-step -step tutorial uh, on that. But that's, 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 that's it in a nutshell. Um, I'd love to hear what you think about it, so by all means feel free to comment and let me know what you think. But uh, this will definitely help out on the job site, help out uh, camping, you name it. It's got a lot, a lot of power. So anyway, check it out guys. I think you're going to like this. Remember it, the Cargo Power Box 2500.